Hey guys, James here today and welcome to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Build and Buy Mode Overview. You can see there's a lot of items here already. Now, just as a heads up, EA has given me this code early for The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs so I can check out the game. So thanks EA for providing that. Now, I put down every item, I put down every pre-made room, I put down all the wallpapers, all the floors, everything that sort of comes in the pack in build and buy mode. Besides, the only thing I didn't use actually was the new foundation which is this one here, just because I don't have any foundation here. And if I did, it would kind of move everything up. Uh, but we can check that out near the end, if I, hopefully I remember. And I think there was maybe something. Oh, I didn't use the, uh, why did I not use the spandrel? That's weird. Uh, oh, wait, what? It, was, it, was, it said nothing. What? Huh. Well, that's an interesting bug that I've just discovered. Uh, <laughs> it's like there only when I go into spandrel mode and then not. Hmm. All right. Well, that's new. Uh, look, okay. Let me, here's what we'll do. Let me get like a little wall right here. And I think if we place it on this instead, it should work uh, and stay there so we can actually see it. Oh, no, it doesn't. We have to, oh, what is, oh, it's not a bug. It's just, I have to go up a floor. I never knew that. Huh. All right. Never mind. Sorry. That's on me. Uh, all right. No, we're good. It's there. Uh, okay. What we're going to do, we're going to start off with the objects now. I'm going to stay right off the bat. Uh, I love a lot of the items in this pack. I don't think there's anything that I'm like, why have they done that? Uh, if you've seen my toddler stuff overview, uh, there was definitely an item about like like that. Uh, in this case, I don't think there really is. Actually, I'll stay, in, I'll stay in buy mode because I'll go through some of the swatches. So I've kind of grouped the stuff in the order, you know, like in the sort of types of rooms they go with. So we've got all the new beds here, which I think my favorite is probably this bed in the middle. But we've got a new child's bed here with a lot of sort of animal animal themes and also not there's some that are just like what like what is oh no i guess it is it's fire hydrant i mean that's kind of weird having a child's bed i mean i guess if they wet the bed a lot i guess you could have that um got a new little side table very funky you know animal themed another bed here a lot of cool like quilted patterns on this bed actually as well and then some more just stand ones as well without that if you just want to stand with this is what i really this is what i'm really happy about the standard white standard black you guys know i like my black and white color schemes but also the reason that i like these on as many items as we can get is that if you have a standard white and a standard black across all items, which I don't know, uh, this one kind of does. Uh, if you have that, then you can generally get things to match together. And that is actually one of the reasons why I use white and black a lot is because then you can just get different sets of items to match together quite nicely. And here is also a, I believe this is a dresser. That's just a side table. Uh, yep, that's a dresser. So you can change your clothes via this guy right here. Uh, so we'll just go through the rest of the beds here. Very nice. A lot of color swatches here, which is good. Uh, so, oh, I really like that one, actually. That Just that sort of color. The colors on that are sweet. Uh, another little side table here as well. Okay, here's one thing I love about the pack. The wood textures and colors across all the items in this pack, like that really rich color there, this darker color here, which you'll see a lot of a little bit later on. Looks so nice. And again, a lot of nice quilted patterns on this bed here as well, which is sweet. And then we got this little uh, side cabinet thing. I don't think it actually, is it, it says it's a dresser. I don't know, is it actually a dresser? Oh, it is. Okay, so you can actually change your clothes by that. That's cool. So it's just like sort of packed with towels and I guess like folded shirts and all that, which is actually really, really nice. And again, it comes with a bunch of really nice wood textures. If you're a fan of like the rustic themes or like, I guess, farmhouse vibes, this pack is spot on. Also, what I really like about this pack is there's a lot of items that look, uh, that have a lot of colors that are like crispy, brand new. Like, look at that. It looks brand new. But then they also have a bunch of recolors that are, you know, they've worn away. They're starting to crack a little bit. So a lot of the items actually come with a ver some variant like that where they look a little bit older, except for this one. As I'm explaining, a lot of items come with it. This one does not. Uh, so <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, uh, I guess we'll keep, we'll move down this way a little bit because this is sort of the larger living room set pieces and a new bar as well. So we've got this sort of uh, side, I guess, uh, it's like a shelf. It's it's a shelf. So I guess you'd probably use this in a vet or something like that. Uh, I've not done any builds yet in the uh, cats and dogs pack, so I haven't used many of these items yet. I love this color combination of like the white and then the sort of brown. It looks so nice. I, again, I love the textures of all this stuff. So all these items here, so like the little leash holder thing here, all of these will have the matching swatches that all go together. Some really nice different wood colors. We're not going to go through all the swatches because they're mostly the same on these items, but uh, really nice. Got a new, like, I guess it's it's a big cabinet. This is one big cabinet piece right here, you can see. Uh, I would probably describe it as like, it's, I guess you do use it in like a living room or something like that, but it kind of works well as a bar backing. 
because uh, you got a few like bottles in there and some plates and like like wine glasses and all that. So it kind of works well for that. And then obviously the bar right here in front. Uh, and again, matching color scheme. Very nautical, this bar, for some reason. Well, actually, no, I say for some reason, uh, but there are quite a lot of nautical-themed items in this pack as well because because of the world style as well. So you could actually create a really nice, like... No, I keep saying nautical because I can't think of another word. But you could create a really nice nautical bar. So there's that. That's kind of cool. I uh, got a couple of new bookcases here on the right as well. The same sort of color schemes going on here so you can match them all together. I, lo I do love the white in all of these. They look super nice. Uh, and also the blacks as well go really well together. So they all just sort of really nicely can just blend together. This one doesn't have just a plain white, but that's still fine. Um, so that's really cool. Oh, there's a little wall light up here that I've put up here. I've kind of put some items around the place, so hopefully I don't miss anything, but they're all, they're, literally everything is here, so you can see it if I don't directly show it. So that's kind of the larger living room set pieces right there. Uh, the dining, this dining table, I'll tell you what though, this is my favorite, no, I don't know if it's my favorite item, but it's one of my favorite items uh, because of the wood texture on the table. It is awesome. I love, I love that one there. Just the colors of it. It looks really rich and it's really, oh, it's got that really good rustic vibe. And it, so it can be very rustic or you could even sort of style it up to make it look a little bit more industrial as well, which is really, really awesome. So that's one of the new dining tables. And we have a new circle dining table that doesn't look like ours, which is sweet. Very industrial style, this one, just because it's got the sort of, I guess, steel or iron banding around it. I don't know what you'd call that, but that makes it very industrial. So that's a really nice table. I like that. I, we need more circle tables. That'd be cool. Um, and then we've got a little lamp on the table here as well that you can see. A bunch of different little colors there. Looking fancy. Uh, I say we've got a bunch of new dining chairs. I love this one. Oh, so a lot of these items, uh, maybe, no, well, not this table, but a lot of the items actually have this really nice sort of lime, sort of, is that, what do you call that, lime? I don't know. This sort of greenish color. And these sort of pastel colors, and it's super nice, like that sort of peachy color as well. Really, really nice. Anyway, so that's one of the new dining chairs. Got another one here. So this is kind of like, some of these are very obviously part of sets. So we've got a lounge chair over here that clearly matches with that dining chair, which is nice. And we've got this sort of, uh, I guess, it's like a benchy, sofa kind of thing. But this clearly matches uh, with the whole sort of, like, nicer wooden set. So like this one... Like, you'll see that these two wood tones, if we go to that one, and clearly that one, they clearly match together quite nicely there. Uh, so there, there's a very obvious, like, sort of set matching pieces, but a lot of these items will work together pretty well uh, throughout the set. Beautiful chair, look at that. Oh, that's, I, I see, it's the same wood color as the one over there, but I love, I don't know, I love this color. It's so good. Uh, then we got this other dining chair here as well. Again, that beautiful wood color. You got this a bar stool in that lime, and then another dining table right here, which has a bunch of color. Look at those golden legs on that table. Really, I actually really like this dining table as well. It's super nice. Uh, and then we have got this little candle lamp thing. Light. It's a light. Uh, <laughs> you can see on top there. I got a new desk over here as well. Again, coming with those beautiful, rich wood tones. That's my favorite. That is my favorite for sure. And then this is, I believe, there's like a set of side table. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a side table that you put in like a hallway or just anywhere really. And it has sort of matching uh, schemes to this dining table here as well. Could be either, like I said, either themed in a rustic way or a very industrial way. You could sort of push it either way depending on how you style it as well. Um, I guess in terms of beds as well, I probably should have had a look at these. These are the two new pet beds for cats and dogs to sleep on. A uh, whole bunch of different colors here on these ones. So you can really, you know, choose something that's going to fit in. Something really simple, like just a plain white or like uh, anything like that. Or you can go super colorful. And then also the smaller one here. Some of them you can see have like a very sort of furry, <laughs> comfy little pattern on it there as well, which is super nice. Uh, and then I guess while we're here, we'll have a look at these two new... Uh, Sort of bears, I guess, whatever they are. These giant toys that kids and toddlers can play with. Have a lot of really nice recolors on them, actually. I think my favorite for this one is probably the one I chose. That's kind of fun. And then the dog one here as well. Oh, the Dalmatian one. I like the Dalmatian. Oh, I like that one because of his face. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so a couple of those two new toys. Yeah. Uh, new ceiling light here as well, hanging right down the middle. New sort of ball styled. Very nautical as well with the ropes on it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then over this way, we've got another ceiling light here as well. Really, actually really nice. I like I like this one, especially with like when you get the sort of darker wood tones underneath. 
Super nice. I like that. Whoops, that's the bed. Uh, so that's that new light hanging up there. Um, I guess we'll move on to like the living room stuff now because I've kind of just worked my way through all the items so you can see it all. Uh, I think, yeah, so we already had a look at this guy here. Uh, this new sofa, very sort of quaint almost as well. Would fit in an elderly home, I would say. <laughs> like it looks like, it could look like my grandma has this couch, you know? It's got that kind of vibe to it. Uh, a bunch of different colors there. Very, very sort of loud if you want it to be. Or a little bit more subdued if you want it to be a little bit a uh, bit more muted. But anyway, so this clearly matches with this lounge chair over here. It has all the matching patterns. Now, actually, the cool thing I noticed about this guy is that with a little bit of cheating, you can actually kind of semi-build a sectional sofa out of it. So if we turn on move objects and we press F5 to enable quarter tile placement, which allows us to sort of place stuff a little bit closer together, we can actually do this. And it almost looks like it's just one sofa. So you could kind of build your own sectional sofa out of this, which is cool. I, although I just wish to kind of just add actual sectional sofas in it. But look at that. It actually works pretty well. I mean, the corner glitches out a little bit, but what you could do... So this is something I think I might even use... I keep placing them there by accident. This is something I think I might actually use at some point uh, to create a fake sectional thing. But you could put like a little table in the corner. I'm just seeing what... I don't know which one's going to fit well in here. I haven't done this yet. Well, we could do this one. Just like a little corner piece there, so you can, you know, sit there, put your drinks on it or whatever. Yeah, so you could build, like, your own sectional sofa. Kind of cool. That's just something I noticed from that piece, which I thought was a uh, pretty neato burrito. Then we've got these two sets here that, well, not these two sets, these two chairs that go together in a set. Whole bunch of colors. Again, you have, like, the, the one I've chosen there, the much more muted sort of style that also, also looks really classy. Or you can get the more, like, really, like, loud patterned ones as well, which is cool. Ooh, that'd be like a good vampire seat. And then obviously this one has the matching styles to all of those uh, that you can see right there. We've also got a new aquarium. Again, going with the nautical theme. Look at that little lighthouse in there and all that. That's pretty cool. And again, matching wood tones to uh, what looks to be this kind of set here. Love those wood tones. So good. Uh, this little armchair here as well, matching to that set, just that same sort of colors. And then we've got a new lamp with a golden stem. Ooh. Uh, okay, well, that was the table we already saw, so I'll get rid of that. Oh, we got a new little poof as well. Or an ottoman, if you prefer. Uh, so this kind of goes with everything, actually. I'm having a look at it now. Oh, a new coffee table there as well. <laughs> as I'm, like, I'm matching it to the coffee table as I was doing that. Um, yeah, this kind of looks like it's going to fit in with most of the sets just because it's got so many different variants to it, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of, it's a nice little kind of classy little footrest. So you could sort of put it in front of that, maybe. I don't know about that color there, though. Let's go, like, ooh, let's go red. Can we do, oh, we can do a red one. So look at that. Beautiful. Matched. Nice. Couple of new fireplaces as well. Love this brick one. I think this, that's definitely my favorite fireplace in this pack. Uh, really, really nice. Has a bunch of different uh, variants on it as well, which is great. And then we got this larger fireplace here as well that comes with the built-in mirror. I wonder if you can use that mirror. I haven't actually checked. Uh, a lot of different options there. I like the white one. The white one's my favorite. Uh, let's see. Can I use that? Uh, no. Uh, that would have been cool if you could, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, uh, a couple of side tail. I don't know why they're over here. I kind of had no idea. Because because it's like 4.30 p.m. If I put stuff in front of each other, they kind of put shadows on them. Anyway, a couple of new like side tables. Uh, this is just like an end table here as well. That would go next to something there. Uh, so these have a bunch of nice colors as well. They've got that rich wood tones. This one is more of the sort of banged up looking one that goes with this sort of all the lime... Uh, kind of pieces here. Lime? Why am I saying lime? Lime is... No, I just realized I meant to say mint. The entire time is supposed to be mint. Oh, no. All right. So go back and edit your comment if you're like, no, it's not lime, you idiot. Uh, just edit that and say, oh, wait, no, you actually realized halfway into the video. Possibly, I don't know where we are in the video. But anyway, mint is what I meant to say. Fine. I finally found it. Anyway, yeah, it matches up with this whole, like, this set here, which is super nice. I love that sort of banged up more, like... I guess, worn-in looking uh, furniture. Because The Sims 4 has a lot of really nice pieces. Like, they're all brand new, you know. Really nice are those ones. And then this, like, I think since, um, which pack? Maybe, like, Vampires or something like that? They started doing a, a few more pieces that are a little bit more rough around the edges. Obviously, I think this does, oh, wait, maybe this one doesn't. A lot of these pieces that are banged up do have a, a cleaner version. This one doesn't. <laughs> As you can see, this, like, for example, this chair does have, like, a clean version. I think, oh, wait, no, maybe I lied. I thought it did. I guess the white version, yeah, the white one's actually clean. There's no, like, sort of rough edges on that one. 
Uh, oh yeah, these ones are sort of a little bit more clean. You can see they're still, even still though, they're like, they look like they've been freshly painted, but they're still like sort of chipped away, which is kind of cool. Anyway, uh, moving on. So those are those two pieces there. Moving over this way, I guess we'll have a look at some of the new pet items. So we've got uh, the kitty litter boxes right here. So there's three different types. We've got like uh, this one here, Mr. Tinkles, the cheapest one. I don't know. So is this like an auto cleaning one? What is this? 175. Uh, scoop free, the automatic self-cleaning litter box. Yeah, nice. And then we've got the self-cleaning litter box here as well uh, with laser beams. I assume come out of the eyes. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is just your standard if you want. Hey, I want to play The Sims kind of realistically. And then this is like, I want to use kitty laser eyes to clean my litter box because it's The Sims. Uh, so you go to three different variants there. Um, so what is this one? Uh, is this also a, it's saying a lot of poo poo in there, because it kind of also looks like a litter box in there too. I guess it's called the poo pen, so yeah. And then we got the dreaded pet carrier, which I'm not really sure if you can actually put pets in that. I know this like shows up when, I think this shows up when you uh, go to adopt a pet and they sort of just spawns, but I don't know if they actually go in that. I don't know, like I haven't played enough of the pack yet. We're just doing an item overview right now. Uh, and then we'll go through the other pet stuff here. So we've got the uh, regular pet bowls right here. Bunch of different colors on these as well to match your pet's personality. So you've got little fishes uh, or fishies on there to, for like cats or whatever. And then dog bones as well. And then we've got this nice uh, one here as well. It's got a few wooden recolors, which I really like as well. And then it's just more like plasticky looking ones as well. Uh, to sort of suit any home. And then these are like the auto fillers, the automatic pet feeder or programmatic. And I don't know how this works. I don't know if you do you like fill. I guess you fill that section up, fill for 40, set schedule time. Oh, that's cool. So it can fill up every, I don't know how many hours you want it to. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we've got a couple of pet toy boxes along here, a few different sizes. Got two, like uh, two of the sort of more wooden standardy looking ones, more like plasticky one, a larger one. And then we've got a bunch of the pet toys that you can just buy from the catalog here as well. Um, I don't think these have any re- oh, the ball has recolors. I can't use it once it's already placed though, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, rainbow. Nice. Uh, those don't have any colors though. And I've got a couple of cat toys here as well. The Cat Dazzler. The Cat Dazzler Rainbow Edition. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of, uh, toys right there. And then I guess moving on, we'll keep going through all the pet stuff. We got, uh, a bunch of- what are they- these- the cat tree, that's what they call. Like, I don't have a cat. I've never had one, so I don't really know what they're called. Anyway, got a bunch of these cat trees here as well. Haven't seen these used in gameplay, but they do look awesome. They do look really, really nice. Uh, and they do have a bunch of recolors as well. So you can go a bit crazy with the colors, or you can go like, hey, I want it really standard. <laughs> and there's a bunch of different variants of these ones as well, like the larger ones. This one's like more out of wood. This is all like out of the sort of, uh, I don't know what material it would be, or what like felty, not felt, but like carpety kind of material, whatever it is. More wooden on that one. And then we just got also just a standard scratching post right here. And then this is like, what is this, the claw set? This is also a scratching post, but it looks like a tree tree stump kind of thing and then a couple of more variants of these as well all come in matching colors with each other which is good which is kind of what you want uh then around the back we've got all these sort of uh, agility and obstacle course sort of stuff for cats and dogs i assume cats can use this as well i didn't try it with cats yet but uh only thing that's kind of disappointing about these other than they have really cool gameplay associated with them you know like the cats and dogs can sort of run through them jump up and run over and all that jump through the loops and all that the loops the hoops the only disappointing thing is, there's literally no color choices on any of these, which I really don't understand, because they're really boring gray color. Like, I don't understand why there's no color choices on these. Like, I just, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, they have cool gameplay with them, but really boring in color. They're just kind of disappointing. Uh, but then we got also these little tubes, the curved tunnel and then the straight tunnel. These have color choices. Only three. But the weird thing is, because these are kind of part of that set, these don't even match with the rest of the set. Like, <laughs> there's not even, like, a white-gray option to go with those. So that's kind of disappointing. That's, uh, I guess, the first thing that I'm disappointed with so far <laughs> is that. Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we're going to go through the rest of the pet stuff here as well. This is all the sort of veterinary clinic items right here for treating and diagnosing pets. Um, which, what's really cool about this is, is, again, like I said, this pack has a lot of stuff that's kind of run down and beaten up. So you've got two versions of this item. They, they are literally different versions. So we got the uh, the sort of more expensive one and the, for 4000 and you got the budget one for 2500 That looks like trash. So, so it's like when we start up a vet clinic in my wag, Wags to Riches Let's Play, we're obviously going to buy the cheaper stuff. Um, and it's just cool. It's like rundown items. So usually, not usually, uh, a lot of these items do have matching ones that are cheaper, like this one here. Same item, cheaper, rundown. 
have the same colors, but obviously it looks a little bit more rough around the edges, which is cool. Uh, and then all these, all these sort of vet items just match together. You know, they're all just the pieces that you can go go with. I guess I should probably move this one next to this because this is the rundown version of that. Uh, so this one, how much is that one? 3,300 versus 7,500 for this one. Jesus. When I was placing these down, I was like, man, our Wax of Witches Let's Play is going to be going to be tough. We're going to have to earn a lot of money to just get these items. We've also got like the dirtier fridge and the clean one uh, again. So I really, I do like that they're doing that now uh, with a lot of the items, especially because they've done the cheaper version too, which is nice. Um, all right, moving over here. I guess we'll do like all the rug kind of stuff and like the decor items that we've got sitting around here. A uh, bunch of new rugs. And the good news is because of the recent game patch. Oh, that's really nice. These are really nice. Because of the recent game patch, even though this rug is huge, we can now do this. And scale it down. If you didn't know that, that came in the recent uh, game update. And you can do this with any item. Uh, that will look really weird when you try to use it. Actually, I don't know if they'll be able to use it or if it will just not work or not. But what's cool about that is I think the best use case scenario is rugs. Because now all the giant rugs don't have to be so giant anymore. And you can use them anywhere, which is awesome. Like, look at... Oh, does he... Oh, interesting. <laughs> so it's like you got the, like, the full scaled up pattern on the tiny rug. Oh, that's, a, that's actually kind of cool. That you can do that. <laughs> it's kind of wait, wait. Is it is it doing that? Hang on, hang on. Hold, hold up. I'm getting confused here. I can't tell if the pattern is scaling down. This has got nothing to do with the. Uh, oh no 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 no. It's fine. Wait, where's the? Uh, I don't know, it looked like the pattern wasn't scaling, but I guess it is. Never mind, anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Uh, a bunch of new rugs. Got oh, I love these style of rugs. I always used to see these in people's houses as well. So we got a, a little set of these rugs here, all similar sort of colors. This one has a few more. Uh, and then we got a tug bone rug as well. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know it had different um, shapes on this one. That's cool. So dog bone, got like a little fish one, heart and a paw. That's cool. A whole bunch of variants on that one. That's actually really, really nice. And then just some smaller standard little mats or something that I guess you could use in like a vet or I guess even a, a bathroom, like in front of a shower would look pretty good. This one's just got paws on it, little kitties on it, little bones. And then these ones, I... I'm going to assume, I don't actually know yet, but because this is like no dogs here. Uh, no dogs allowed, no dogs can enter, so don't put your paws here, there'll be no surrender. I'm going to assume that this kind of functions like in previous games, where I think in, I don't know which game it was, maybe it, was, it might have even been The Sims 1, you put down a sign on your lot that said no pets. So then no pets would come onto your lot or like sort of bother you or anything like that. So I'm going to assume that these work that way, otherwise I don't know why they would have done it. Uh, anyway, so they got... You know, cat and dog version of that. And then there's also the ones that said, all puppers welcome and cats rule this house. I don't know if these actually affect gameplay. I, I don't. Maybe you can let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, you got a whole bunch of those. All different colors. This little rug here as well. Got this one. These are kind of just nice little mats that you can use around the place. Uh, so those are all our rugs. And we've got some uh, newspaper that you can put down for, I guess, when you're training your pets. Oh, jeez. It even comes with urine stained newspaper. Nice one. Uh, so that's kind of, you can go very clean or you can go horribly dirty <laughs> and really old news. That's cool. I like that. I love this little stack of books on top of the suitcase here as well. Really nice little item. Again, very nautical themed right there. And then we got a bunch of these new uh, sort of countertop items that I guess you could use either in your home for like pet treats or you could use it in a vet clinic, which would make a lot of sense too. Uh, all those little stuff in here. No colors in that one. Little sort of medical tray there as well. A bunch of dog food here. Look at that. I guess pet food because there's cats on it as well. Nice. Uh, then this one here is Tomb of the Unknown Papa. That's so sad. Why is he unknown? Oh, that's sad. Uh, then we've got a bunch of new little statues here as well that could. I, I'm going to assume these go on top of tables. I haven't tested that yet. Yeah, you can put them on top of tables. I guess on on pedestals as well and all that kind of stuff. Uh, these statues are the same here, but they have like three different colors: gold, silver, and bronze. This one here as well, similar sort of thing right there. These little statues. Ceramic cats. These are cool because they have so many different variants. Oh, that one's cool. I like this one. Oh, nice. And the same with the dogs here as well. A bunch of different variants on it. Really, really like those actually. No, maybe not that one. That one. Yeah. Nice. Um, again, following on with the nautical thing, we've got the huge captain's wheel. I, I really like this piece. That's cool. I don't know where I'm going to use it, but it's cool. Now this. This here. This is my favorite like... I don't know, like statue centerpiece. Like this would be awesome in like a mansion, in like an office or a parlor or something. I love this. The only thing that could have made this better was if you change the color. 
and like the map in here changed and it was like you know windenburg willow creek oasis springs if you like cycle through it that would have been incredible like if it did that oh but other than that this is i really really like this that's awesome i love this piece so much I really do. That's cool. I love it. I don't, I don't know when I'm going to use it. I don't know where I'm going to use it. I'm going to find a place to put it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we've got a bunch of outdoor signs here as well. Uh, Animal Directioning Ink Meow. I don't know if these actually make any difference. Again, no barking here. No pooping here. I'm going to assume that these are going to affect gameplay so dogs won't poop all over the place and they won't bark and make noise. Don't know if it's true. Again, don't know if it's true or if it's just aesthetics or what it is. Uh, but there they are. Uh, we've got a new public bathroom as well right here. A few different colors which uh, right there. And we've got also a, new f a few new food stalls going on here too. A few different colors there. Oh, fruity one. Can't recolor those too. Uh, so a couple of new food stalls. I love this piece as well. This is a really cool centerpiece for like a park or something. It's, look at the chain though. I think this is awesome. It's kind of, again, it's kind of one of those items where I'm like, I don't know when I'm ever going to use it, but it's incredible. I mean, I guess to be fair, hang on, to be fair, you could do this and put it on a table. Oh yes, I'm absolutely doing that. That is awesome. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, okay, more decorative items. We're still going. Jesus, this is a long video. So we got all these new uh, sort of crates because we got the whole like harbor world, which I don't think we're in at the moment. No, we're kind of on the cliff section of the world, which by the way, look at this world. It is beautiful. Uh, anyway, so because there's a whole like harbor section of the world. So there's a bunch of these new decorative crates, which is actually really, really awesome. So I've done a few different color variants. You can see there's like a dirtier option there as well more like planked versions and let's you know the crates they, they don't do anything they just sit there and look kind of cool can i stack them not really but again scaling down makes them way more versatile than they would have been in the past because they are huge especially when you look at this one this is one big set but you can make it smaller which i think is perfect like that is so so useful like this size here is a pretty good size that size eh, maybe a bit too big but I love them. I love them because it's just new items, like especially if you're building like a junkyard or like a shipping place or whatever you're doing. Like these are, these are good just for storage. Like you can make, you can make a warehouse that's filled with boxes now. I don't know why, but you could do it. And I like that. <laughs> and I really like that. Uh, okay. So that's kind of all the items. Uh, besides like this kind of stuff, I'm just like looking at this area seems there anything else I want to show up close first. I guess we'll go... There's a lot of wall decals. We'll go here. All of these. And I think a lot of these don't have specific recolors if I'm not mistaken. Like these pores do. If I can click on them. You can see I've done a few different recolors. Uh, so a lot of these are actually like sign based items. Um, so we got, you can see we got these two sort of signs sitting around here. A bunch of different colors on them. Uh, same with this one here. And then what you can do... Uh, much like in, uh, I believe Dine Out did, was the first one that did this. You just get the icons. You can sort of put them on. Oh, that one's not going to go on. Oh, okay, maybe. Okay, so I picked up one that wasn't actually a sign piece. Some of them are, you know, put them on there. Get some writing. And sort of kind of build your own sign type of thing. Not that one. Some of them are, some of them aren't. <laughs> I don't know which of which. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So it's like that kind of thing. So for example, like the, these signs here, they actually come pre-made uh, from the catalog if we have a look. So like this one here, there's a few pre-made variants if you go through it. Uh, so like for example here. But then when you place it down, you can actually just take it off. Um, that's just, they sort of just come together, which is kind of cool. So that's that there. Or you can use a lot of these right here. And again, there's also uh, a wall variant of that. So you can put it up there. You can have them hanging off the building. I've got it down there, like the pre-made one as well. Uh, so a whole bunch of different variants there. And some of these do have red colors. Uh, like this one here as well does. That one. I don't know about that one. There's, I, there's so much here. Like we could literally go through all of it if we wanted. But I think you can see it all there. Whole bunch of new wall decals. I mean, even it's good for like a vet clinic, putting them all on the walls. Or like a, a bedroom as well. Kind of cool. A little tree. Uh, I got a calendar up there. Nice. Got a whole bunch of posters as well, which I don't know that these have red colors. Don't think so. They're all just cool. Oh, this one does. And it changes that bit though. Um, yeah, so they're all there. I love this painting. This is probably my favorite one that came in the pack. Uh, I think it is awesome. The dogs playing uh, Don't Wake the Llama. Like a play on the... Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what the name of the painting is. Uh, maybe it's the got a Dog's Night in. I don't know what the name of the painting is. But we're, you know that famous painting of the dogs playing like poker. Um, I love it. I love it. Really, really do. New, what is that? Like a radiator? I should, no, it's a curtain. It's not a radiator. It kind of looks like a radiator though. It's a curtain. I don't know why I put that there. I thought, I, maybe I thought, oh, it's like matching with these curtains here. Okay, cool. Um, I need someone to put it. 
You know what? We'll leave it there. It's a curtain. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so we got, I love, I love this one here, this new tire plant. Uh, this is going to be really cool for like gardens and all that. Really, really nice. Love it. Uh, and then we've got a few more pot plants around here as well. These are really nice. That one there as well. Uh, just moving around this way. This is all the sort of outdoor furniture that I've sort of conglommed. Conglommed is not a word, but you know. New bench right there. Bunch of colors. New huge lamppost. Really nice. And then this sort of matching uh, outdoor picnic table to the that beautiful dining table I love. I love this one too. New picnic table here as well with an umbrella. Bunch of recolors on that one. Two new post boxes as well uh, with a bunch of different types of dogs and cats on them, which is kind of cool. I really like these. You can totally make a crazy cat lady with a cat mailbox. I love it. <laughs> um, and then we've got a couple of little decorative pieces down here. Bunch of little recolors there as well. Really, really nice. And again, you can see a bunch of new paintings around this place here as well. Uh, this one has a lot of variants on it, which is really, really nice. So you can sort of get this all over with loads of different options. Uh, this one here as well. A bunch of different options on this one. Which I, what I really like about when they do stuff like this is means you can get like a whole, just a uniform looking room, but loads of different pictures. And some of these are beautiful. Look at that. That, that is really, really nice. Some super nice art on this thing. Let me get, see if I can get a bit closer. Like some really, really nice art on this one. Look, that's really nice. I, I I do love these. These are really cool. Whoever painted those or made those, beautiful. Same with these. Like all of them, to be honest. Look at that. Oh, I love that one. That's Look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Anyway, I, I always love when they add more paintings in the game. There's a new billboard kind of thing here. I don't, oh. Oh, interesting. I didn't actually know that until just now. Okay, so we've got these guys here. Which, I don't know if I put them somewhere. I don't think I actually did put them anywhere. No, I didn't. Okay, so that's cool. I didn't know that that was a separate thing. So we've got, actually, I was wondering about that. Because we've got a blank billboard here. Uh, and then, obviously, there's different pieces that you can sort of just slot into it. Which is really cool. Oh, that's cool. You get a sort of banged up one. Does it have different colors? No. So if it had the different ones in there, you can sort of, like, layer them. I wonder if you can put other... Can you put, like, the, uh, the sign ones on there as well? Oh, you can. Cool. All right. So you got a whole new sign there as well. All right. That, I just learned that now. Um, got a couple of vet based things here as well. Cats and dogs anatomy. Uh, little x-rays on the wall there. Uh, and then we got all the curtains. A couple more signs here as well. The wall behind me is <laughs> pumping the camera all over the place. Uh, yeah, a couple of signs here. All the sort of colors like that. Uh, new curtains. Loads of different options in there. All pet based. Probably wouldn't want to use those in a home, but oh, you could use them in a kid's bedroom. New curtains, new tall curtains that are sort of smaller, then super wide ones, then even wider ones, which is kind of cool. Then we've got these two nautical items that I showed off before, like a net with like, uh, what do you call it, like floaters on them. It's kind of cool. And then the sort of captain's wheel again, mounted on the wall. A couple of bar backings here as well in the barrels or half barrels, looking good. Curtains, more and more curtains. These all have the same sort of recolors, obviously, in this set. Got this crab sign. Which, I mean, you could use for a crab shack. Uh, and then the curds. Then these curds over here as well, which obviously match up with the first ones that we saw just before. So that's all that stuff there. But no, we're not done. They're still, it's still going. We've got a whole bunch of new windows all down this wall right here. So these, most of these do, actually, I think all of them have the same color set. Yep, literally all of them do because we can make them all mint, which is awesome. So all of these windows that come in the pack have the exact same color set as you can see. But I just did a whole variety of different ones before, so you can see all the... So I've cycled through all the different colors so you can see them here. Uh, yeah, so we've got this little window here. We've got this little one with the cross. We've got this open one, which I really, really like. Uh, that can be used in a lot of nice places too. I think Deligracy did a mansion build just the other day uh, in Cats and Dogs that actually utilizes this one, this huge open archway, like between the kitchen and the dining room, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so we've got a nice arch window, another larger one, got the circle, got, you know, I mean, I, do I really need to describe them? You can see them all right here. Uh, really, really nice options. They all go well together in one big set, which is perfect. Then we have these new sort of awnings as well that come with the matching roof tiles on them, which is really, really nice. Uh, you can see there. So you can actually sort of, I think this probably goes well, yeah, on like this window here or like that one. I wonder if you could, um, if you scale them up as well, I wonder if that would work any, any well. Uh, it's a bit, eh, the side of it's a little bit big, but you could. <laughs> so we've got the smaller awning and then the larger one as well, which I'm going to guess goes over this one right here. Oops. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it does. Nice. So yeah, that fits nicely with those windows. Then these little beauties 
These are cool. So these are the new bay windows, which are just items that you sort of take out like this. There's three of them, three different styles. So you have a much, you have like sort of a, I guess it's almost stone. Kind of, this kind of one reminds me of like a museum or something kind of looking one because it's made out of stone, you know, a bunch of different flower options. Uh, but you just build your walls in a configuration like this, and then you can just place them in like that. And so we've got this wooden one here as well, which will match uh, all of those kind of color schemes there. Loads of different variants. So you should be able to match it in with whatever you're trying to do. Black and white, my favorite. Everybody knows. And then we've got this one here as well. Um, you could probably use better windows than I have. Because if you, if for example, if you use like the modern windows, like the huge full glass ones, that's going to look cool. So you could do something like that. And you get these beautiful bay windows. And now as well, with the game update uh, that introduced the new roof types, Oh, which I can't see the grid anywhere. I need to build, I need, it needs to be a room. Hang on. With the new roof types, which came in the game update for everyone, not just cats and dogs. I don't need to do this, I just want to. Uh, let's go eight, is it? Yep. We can get a perfect roof on it. Ah, oh. Let me put the roof up. Ah, oh, look at that, that's beautiful. I think you like curve it. Oh, whoops. Look at that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you can now do that, which is really, really cool. And I, I think it looks, these are these are nice little additions to the game. It's nice to be able to have those. Um, all right, moving on. We kind of did see this a little bit earlier. We saw the uh, sort of new fence uh, columns and the spandrel. Again, these all have the matching colors. I've just done a, a different variants on them. The matching gate as well. Mint, nice color. And then a standard white and black as well. We've got the fence here. Comes in all those colors as well. And the spandrel at the top. You know, all matching colors. I do like this column because it's pretty simple. Can probably fit in a lot of builds, which is really nice. Very simple. Nice color choices. Uh, one thing, actually, the other, I've just realized there's another thing that I haven't included on this lot. Uh, along with the foundation. Is the new uh, stair fence. But it is the same fence. It just matches that one there. It's just because I've got no stairs anywhere. I guess we could put it in. Uh, I probably should do it. Let's put it there. We'll put it there. We'll get some beautiful fencing on it. There you go. Got your mat matching fencing for the stairs. Cool. No new stairs though. <clears throat> Wallpapers. Uh, got three new sort of interior wooden walls here. Uh, I can't, really? I can't change it once it's... I guess I never really noticed that you couldn't change the color of walls once you placed them. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, a few different colors on them there. Oops, didn't want to do the whole thing. Uh, and then similar sort of matching ones with all of these as well. Uh, obviously because they're all going to set together so you can get different colors there. That's just the matching one of that. So the cool thing about these is that they can really go anywhere in most homes. I mean, maybe, maybe not this one. It's got a lot of wood. Like this one could be, probably fit in quite well. Then these ones, these ones are cool. These are actually, obviously, as you can see, ones that match roof tiles in the game. So what you could do, like for example, over here, you put it on the sort of side of a building like that. And if we got the matching roof tile, which is almost that one, but it's slightly... Maybe it's this one actually. I think it's that one there. So it sort of matches with that and you can sort of create the, I guess, a fully roofed edge to a building. If we go like black or something, maybe it'll look a bit better. Yeah, like you can do stuff like that. It's kind of cool. So those are kind of useful. Obviously we've got three different variants of that with a bunch of colors. Got a new, uh, also just plank walling here. Uh, we probably want to look at it on this side, uh, which has a bunch of nice colors too. Beautiful rich color, beautiful whitewashed and a bunch of different variants there as well to match a lot of the other wooden again. Like, I think this pack has some of my favorite wooden textures in it of all of them. Uh, then, round the front here, we got new doors. Obviously, all matching in the same sort of uh, theme as all the windows. I love this door here. This three-tile uh, door with all the glass around. I also love this door here. Actually, this door is one of the doors we've been needing for a long time. Like, they always had, like, a door like this in The Sims 1, but they never really had it <laughs> anywhere else. I love it. Love that door. That's super nice too. We've got some new archways that are actually curved, like taller curved archways, because we've always had like this one and we've had like this. And that's kind of it for like curved archways for larger ones. Like we've got the smaller ones as well here, but never had any larger ones. So we finally got some larger archways, especially a three wide one, which is beautiful. All the matching colors as well. Got some new single doors here as well. They have, again, all the same kind of color scheme as all the other stuff. Uh, new double door there. This one as well. Really nice. Uh, sort of standard kind of door, uh, which is great. Uh, a couple of new, what are, they, what are these called? Corbella, which you just like sort of put under the roof, you know, like that. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, so these obviously match up with the, the ones that are over here used on those awnings. So and again, same color schemes, beautiful mint. And then we have these guys, which are brand new to the game. 
dog jaws and cat doors. Obviously, this is one for the smaller sized cats and dogs. And then you have one for the larger dogs and cats here. Actually, are there different sizes of cats? I don't know. But larger dogs can get through this larger door, obviously. There's a few different styles of them right there. Those are all the doors. Oh, look at these. New plants as well. These are, so these are in the build mode category. Cat lovers topiary. Obviously, you can scale these up if you wanted it to be a little bit bigger. Because they are pretty small, I'm going to be honest. But you can scale them up. So that's fine. Look at this poodle. Proud poodle. I love it. <laughs> that's really nice. Got a new little plant here as well. A few different recolors on that one that you can see right there. Beautiful new flower based tree. What is it? The dogwood tree. You can go, obviously, just go leaves if you want. Or you can go full bloom. I like this sort of half-half, but this one's also really nice here. Sort of put them together there. New birch tree as well, is that? Yeah, white birch tree, a few different colors on that. Got some very autumn-y sort of leaf flavors. I don't know I said flavors, color choices, look at that. It's nice as well, because that means you can sort of really... This is actually really useful, because you can sort of go like... Start blending them together a little bit more. When you have the like same tree and like a variety of colors, you can see these, these are all four different colors. But the, at least the trunks are still the same, so then you can sort of blend it together. Like, you know, it's just turning to autumn kind of feel to the place, which is really, really nice. And then we also have this larger tree, which you may have seen already, like in the past 40 minutes, in the middle of the, <laughs> the lot right here. Uh, you go full red leaf, full green, you know, brand new uh, kind of thing there. Or you go like that sort of half, half ones there as well. Really nice. I think th this tree looks kind of weird to me, though. Like it's... I don't know, like, the color, I love the colors of it, but the actual object kind of looks weird. I don't know, looks nicer. Maple tree. Uh, floorings. Okay, these floorings are some of my favorites ever. This one here in the middle. Like, th this flooring is, I think, one of my favorite wood floorings in the game now. I love it. I love the texture to it. The colors to it as well are beautiful, especially, like, the darker one. I think, does it have a, um, I can't tell if it has, like, a sheen to it as well. I don't know that it does. No, not really. It's not it's not shiny. A little bit, but not really. But yeah, one of my favorites now. It is really, really nice. Get the You can get the whitewash look in it as well. You can see I've just done the different colors down here. Hang on, let me undo it so we go back to what we were. And then we have this other one here that's a little bit smoother looking, uh, the wood floor. Uh, but again, same sort of colors as you can see just here. So a couple of new wood floors. Those are our floorings. All right, that is, I think, all the items. Um... That we've got all over here. Then we've got the pre-made rooms. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Sorry, we've got new roof decorations here as well. We've got a new chimney. Almost missed out on that. New chimney, bunch of different colors right there. And a couple of new, what are these? The, just called the original. I don't know, just like roof pointy bits uh, that goes up the top. One with nothing on the top. And then one that comes with this guy on the top, which actually, if I could, let me do it like this. Which actually does change shape depending on sort of what color you go to. We've got two different ones there. Kind of cool. All right, so that's that. <laughs> and then moving inside. So these are all the pre-made rooms uh, that come with the pack. So we've got a nice little new living room here. Uh, slate flooring there. New dining room as well, using all the new items. We've got this kid's bedroom, I'm going to assume. I mean, I guess it could be an adult's bedroom. You don't know. Another new living room in here as well. The cat uh, the cat tree. Oh, look at this. They've used those this painting that we were looking at before. Four different configurations. Nice idea. I like that. Uh, I got this new bedroom here as well with a cat scratching post right there. Oh, look at that. the books and the suitcase in the corner. New painting. New bathroom here as well with that rug and the automatic kitty litter box. And that's it. The last thing we have to check if my nose... My nose is just starting to lose it now. It's starting to run. Uh, if we move everything up onto foundation, we can actually... I'll just make it taller so we can sort of really, really see it. So let's get... Got that one there. We kind of want to look at from the other angle though where the light is. Got the black one. Got that one there. Looking good. Yeah, anyway, that's the new foundation right there. Uh, and I think, I, now I think that's it. I don't think there's, is there anything else I missed? There probably is. There usually is something I missed, but given the fact it took us 44 minutes to get through this, and the only kind of legitimate complaint that I can recall was these guys up here not having colors. But the rest of the stuff I'm pretty damn happy with. And I love, I love some of the paintings, as you guys heard. I love the flooring right there. That table as well. Oof. Love the table. Really, really nice. And I really like the, uh, the tire as well. But that is the Sims 4 Cats and Dog build overview. In general, really, really happy with the new items we got. Really happy. Some awesome sets. Some really nice new things. Uh, it's going to make building some beautiful new home. Oh, and this guy. Sorry, this guy right here. Oof. Oofed. Look at that. 
Beautiful. Uh, it's going to make building some new homes really, really awesome. But yeah, that's it. That's everything you get. I think it's pretty awesome. If you like the look of the stuff here, this is the kind of theme that we're getting with the pack, the sort of rustic uh, farmhouse kind of feel to it. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. And let me know what you think of all the items in the pack. If there's anything you loved or anything you didn't like, I'm voting for these guys. I mean, I, okay. Like I said, the gameplay with these is really cool. Colors, not so much. From a like, specific build by perspective, not great colors. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.